Ronnie J here from InternetRadioStation.com. I suppose I would be remiss if I didn't mention a tool called Stereo Tool. Uh, I've used Stereo Tool for many years uh, on the older versions of Sam Broadcaster, and you can use it even on the newer versions of Sam Broadcaster. So, what is Stereo Tool? Well, if you go to the website, uh, StereoTool.com, over to the right hand side, it explains to you basically what it is, and in a nutshell, Stereo Tool is a DSP plugin that has all kinds of features that Sam Broadcaster has built into it, but uh, some features Sam Broadcaster does not have built into it. You can download a free version or you can download a registered version. I have the registered version, but I don't really use it anymore with Sam Broadcaster, but uh, you might want to. This will be your choice, but I feel you should know about it because it's there. And what you get here, you get a declipper, you get uh, natural dynamics, stereo separator, Stereo enhancement, you have a 10 band compressor, a limiter, 10 band clipper, 10 bands equalizer, a bass booster, a final limiter, FM stereo encoding. And as it says over here, Stereo Tool is a professional low latency audio processor that is used by hundreds of FM, AM, and web radio stations all over the world. And this is true. And even by musicians who use it to process their recordings. And by hundreds of thousands of people who use the free version to listen to music on their PC. And second paragraph is significant because it says Stereo Tool makes your music sound more consistent, powerful, clear, and I can attest to that, and detailed than ever before. The only downside that I've seen with Stereo Tool is that you really have to tweak it. You have to play with it to get the sound that you want. And I personally found that uh, it was just too much trouble for me to be playing around with it when I first began RipRadio.com and uh, I still have them and they sound great. But when I compare Stereo Tool to the new version of Sam Broadcaster, yeah, there are some significant differences, and I can tell the differences. There is some clarity there. I'm basically very happy with Sam Broadcaster as it is. But you have to determine this for yourself. So what you want to do is go over to StereoTool.com. There will be a tab at the very top for download, and you would want to download the Winamp DSP plugin version. In fact, Stereo Tool also runs with Winamp. But this is the version that you want to download. If you have a Macintosh or a Linux machine, then you can download those versions as well. And then try it. So let me show you what Stereo Tool looks like on my version of Sam Broadcaster. So this is assuming that you've downloaded Stereo Tool and you've installed it. So let me bring up my version of Sam Broadcaster and show you Stereo Tool. Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from Internet Radio Station. You're looking at my Sam Broadcaster configuration, the same one you saw in the previous videos. And I run Sam Broadcaster as it is. The new version has plenty of uh, neat features in it that really give your internet radio station a great crystal clear sound. For example, if you go into the configuration settings here and go under the uh, audio mixer pipeline, you have uh, for your decks, deck A, deck B, your sound effects, your auxiliary decks, your voice effects and mixer, each of them respectively have uh, an equalizer, an AGC, and what's called a DSP plugin. If I come down to the very last column down here, and, and this is what I usually do, I don't play around with uh, these settings here because this is basically the global setting. So whatever I set down here will filter up into these uh, decks and auxiliary decks here. So for example, if I want to set a global equalizing setting, I would click on EQ and come in here and I can select a particular uh, sound for my radio station. Say, if, if, for example, if I'm playing um, rock and roll music, you might want that to be loud. So you select the loud uh, EQ preset setting. Of course, you would have to turn on your equalizer. And you know it's turned on because that little radio button right there will turn green and you'll click OK. I run a jazz radio station, so I would come in here and I would uh, set mine to, I, I, I like the rock setting here, but I think there's a jazz setting in here. No, there isn't. But you can create your own. I can come there and set rock. And as you can see that the uh, these settings here change. And I can play a song and come in here and move these up and down as I see fit. And that turns to custom. And then I can save the preset and give it a name. And so you can create as many presets as you like within uh, Sam Broadcaster. So what I'm saying here is that Sam Broadcaster has built into it 
a lot of cool effects. And if you go into the, the AGC section here, uh, you have uh, plenty of things you can play around with. And the best way to learn what these are is to simply play a song in your deck, uh, turn up your speakers or put on a headset, and start playing around with these settings. You want to come here and you can say turn on pre-emphasis. And pre-emphasis gives, gives your songs a kick. And you'll definitely tell the difference once you uh, click on this button here. You can play around with these slider buttons here. You can turn off or turn on your gated AGC. You can turn on or turn off your stereo expander. Play with the settings here. The uh, bass EQ. You can turn that off, turn it on, play with the settings. So again, the best way to do this is to play around with these settings. And when you find something that you like, uh, just click OK and stick with it. And that's the best advice I can give you. You can also go to the Sam Broadcast website. There's a form there. And there are users in there who will tell you how to set these things up. But most of what you get are what they like. What's more important is what you like and what you uh, think your radio station should sound like. So what I'm saying here is in a nutshell is that Sam Broadcaster has plenty of functionality built into it that allows you to come in and tweak it to get uh, the best possible sound. However, there is another tool, let me close this out, that I've used in the past with uh, Sam Broadcaster and it is a very good tool. Uh, it has a whole lot more uh, functionality in it that lets you take your uh, radio station to a very high level as far as getting a uh, crystal clear sound and most people won't be able to tell the difference unless you're an audiophile you will know and that tool is called Stereo Tool and once you install Stereo Tool and you go into your configuration setting here and come down to it says your audio mixer pipeline and at the very low at the very bottom column you'll see DSP if you click on that you'll see it here SA Stereo Tool version 7.3. So once you click on that, you're going to see the Stereo Tool uh, graphical user interface pop up. It's very pretty. So I'm going to click on this and click OK. And there it is. This is Stereo Tool. There's a lot in here. Uh, so like the Sam Broadcaster uh, functions built into it, you need to come in here and play with these as well. Let me walk you through very briefly if I were to use Stereo Tool for Sam Broadcast or what I would use it for. I would come up here to where it says Processing. Click on this uh, button here. And underneath Processing, you have a whole lot of other things here. This is the main area that I would focus on. Simply Processing. And uh, I basically leave everything in here alone. If I go under Declipper, I would turn that on if it's turned off. And under Noise Removal, I will turn that on if it's turned on off. You have the equal, I'm sorry, you have AGC. You have natural dynamics. I usually leave this turned off. Uh, I've listened to the natural dynamics and I personally don't like it. You might. So you can try it. And again, you want to play a song and then come in here and then listen to it. You have your AGC. AGC tends to give your music, uh, a boost as far as its uh, treble, your mid-tones, your mid-ranges rather, and your, your bass. The, and you'll de definitely tell the difference when you turn on and turn off AGC. AGC stands for Automatic Gain Control and it's a mechanism that prevents your songs from uh, peaking too high. You know, a lot of songs have crescendos and this keeps them under control. You also have um, a stereo. This is a stereo separator. It uh, allows, uh, it gives your music stereo separation. You can leave it as it is based on how the song was created or you can come in here and you can play with the settings in here and give your left and right channel stereos, uh, stereo settings separation. You have a stereo boost setting here that you can play with. You can just grab it and move it left, right on any of these. And again, you want to Turn it on, play a song, and then play around with these and see if and get the desired effect. Like Sam Broadcaster, uh, Stereo Tool has an equalizer. By default, it's turned off. You turn it on, and it looks pretty weird here, but all you're doing here, you're coming in, you're playing a song, and over here you have your low frequencies, and you know, your bass to the far left, 
To the far right, you have your high frequencies. So you play a song, and you come in here and you grab some, some of these and you move them down to what you want them to sound like. See, I would get some highs by doing that, or I can remove them. You also have multiband, which I believe is turned on by default, but you can turn that on. And you get all kinds of nice features here. And again, you can play with these. You can move them left and right, all of these settings here. And just listen to the song to get your desired effect. So as you can see here with Stereo Tool, it requires a lot of learning to play around with it. Uh, you have a, a bass boost setting here. Uh, if you turn that on, you will definitely tell the difference. And right now, the strength on this one set down to 20%. Try playing a song and then moving this right here. And then you will definitely hear some definite bass boosting going on with your songs. One of the best features I find with Stereo Tool is that you don't really have to come in here and play with these settings at all. Why? Because they have presets. In fact, right here, I've created my own preset called Rip Radio Jazz Main. If I click on that, in fact, there are many built-in presets. So what you do is you play a song, click on that preset button and say come here and select say for example generic presets you click on that you have many many presets in here you select one and then listen to your music and it's going to show what's current it's going to show the current preset right here if you don't like it click on that again and I'm going to scroll down and say pick one that says web radio stations and you have many of those in here and you can find one that you like for example you have to go through each one and uh, here's one by lucidity which are pretty good you click on that and it sets up stereo tool for you all the settings I just mentioned in here are all set for that particular preset listen to your songs and then see if this is a preset for you so it's using the presets and you can also go to the stereo tool website and if you go into their forms there will be users in there really nice guys who have created their own presets and they will let you download them for free you come here and you click load and you navigate to the location of the preset on your PC and for example I'll have some on my desktop let me show you here in a folder called STS right there and I have a lot of presets in here see here are mine that I've created I have one called uh, no AGC stereo boost and this one I was experimenting Ron's best tight bass this is a very nice one no AGC but uh, these are some of the ones up here that I downloaded from the stereo tool form and there are hundreds of them and you just pick one that you like and let's say if I like the one here called uh, supersonic version 7 which is very nice I'll select that and click open and it's automatically imported into stereo tool and I'll play a song and see if I like it and you can even tweak it say if there's something about it you don't like say if the highs are too high or the lows are too low you can come in here and you can tweak it and then save it and give it a name um, this preset if I recall I had to turn on the declipper so let me see if the clippers turn on for this preset Yes, he's turned off. So I find that this particular preset, Supersonic version 7, Beta 5, sounds a whole lot better for me if I turn on the, the clipper. And let me play a song here. So right now, I'm playing a song. This is David Sanborn. And I can see Stereo Tool in action. And I'm using this preset. And I got the Declipper tab selected. Let's say if I want to look at something else. I might want to look at the Natural Dynamics. Right now it's turned off. If I turn it on, see, I can listen to it to see if I like it. It's okay, but it's not for me, so I'm going to turn it off. Let's go down to AGC. And right now AGC is turned on, but if I turn it off, So I, can, I can hear a slight difference. So I'm going to turn it back on because I like it. I have my bands. The band pass filters here. Stereo separation or stereo boost. 
noise removal is turned on. And if I want to select another preset, I come up here and say load. And I'm going to pick one of mine. Ron New Jazz 2. And I heard a pronounced difference in the highs. And again, I could come here and select this and pick a preset already built into Stereo Tool. Let's say if I take the one here called uh, Jeffrey Beam Rider. See, that's what's playing right now. It sets up Stereo Tool for you. And I believe that the clipper is turned off. It is. But I can turn it on. See here? See that red above that wave and below that wave? That keeps that input signal in check and it keeps it from distorting. This is the input signal and this is what's coming out. Input output. If I turn off the clipping, see that red goes away. So the input signal, if it's distorted, could go way up here. So I want that controlled because I don't want that distortion to be translated over to my output. So I always turn on my deep clipper. But this is a very nice tool. But I find I don't need it, but it's there in case I want to use it. All right, uh, so this is Stereo Tool. Uh, download it. You can download a free version of it and play around with it with your stand broadcaster. This is Ronnie J from InternetRadioStation.com. Thank you for listening.